Greetings, my unique Geminis and others. Uh, this is Soul Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for my unique Geminis and others for the week of July 27th to August 2nd, 2015. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, before I begin, I want to thank uh, my new subscribers. And I want to also thank all the wonderful people who follow me and continue to show their uh, love and support for my channel and what I do. A um, couple of things. Um, I also want to thank the people who have placed uh, some trust and faith in me and doing personal readings for them. And uh, I really do wish them well and hope that they receive my guidance uh, as well, too. Um, if there is anyone out there interested in uh, obtaining the reading with me, please visit my website. Um, check the uh, shop now link and then you will see that I have three readings up on offer. Uh, one for email where you can provide two questions uh, with uh, concise and clear questions uh, to ask. And I do not need birth dates and I do not need explicit uh, information. The other two are for a half an hour and an hour uh, for anyone who's interested in um, having a reading with me. Uh, also, I've changed uh, the deck for a feel for new energy. Uh, some of you may like it, some of you may not. Uh, I'm just trying it out. Um, I may resume uh, using the deck that I feel uh, provides a lot of uh, energy for me. Um, but I was fed to uh, use another deck just to change up the energy and uh, come out of stagnation for myself. Um, also, I am working uh, desperately to uh, finish up these videos and uh, have them up for you in a timely manner because I, I also want to get the uh, general love monthly readings up for all signs prior to the start of the month of August. So I'm working uh, with doing personal readings um, and doing these videos so I'm, I'm pretty much taxed out but uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep at it and all I ask is for your patience um, while I do these uh, these readings and try to get the videos out there to you but anyway um, without further ado what we have for you for the energy going into the week of July 27th to um, August 2nd is the five of Pentacles in reverse so the energy here in this card is telling me that a lot of my uh, Gemini's are basically uh, coming over or overcoming I should say some uh, struggles or financial uh, struggles that they may have had um, you know this week is should be good with in terms of finances uh, if it was in the upright then I would say that you know be careful of financial losses and struggles um, coming your way but it's in the reverse and that's good energy uh, to carry through this week um, also just to uh, and I'm not going to tie into you know the pinnacles with you know a loss of uh, you know avoiding or averting a, a loss with a relationship I'll save that for the the general love reading uh, for you guys uh, for the month of August. I'm focused here and I feel now the energy I'm picking up has to do with a lot of um, financial stuff and work uh, situations. Uh, I feel some of you have, um, like I said before, are overcoming a financial struggle and um, and moving forward, I see that there's some work situations going on. Uh, but let me give you the hangman in your past position in the upright. Now, the hangman is a major arcana. It's a major life event as well. So for some of you, I feel that um, in your recent past, you may have felt like you were in limbo. Uh, basically, you were sitting on the fence uh, and trying to make a decision. Uh, your perception wasn't clear about trying to make a decision about something that was important to you, whether it had to do with a job. And even though I said I was going to save it for a relationship, that could be uh, with a relationship, too. Uh, some of you are just uh, in feeling in limbo about 
something that was important. And we're going back two to three weeks and the energy is carrying it, but you're getting over it. Some of you are getting over that feeling of out of sorts and being in limbo, uh, whatever matter uh, pertains to you, whether it is a relationship or if it has something to do with, you know, um, you know, jobs or job movement. Uh, in your middle position, we have the Ten of Pentacles uh, in the reverse. Now, this card I just draw drawn for another sign, and it's a good card. It was their energy for the week, and uh, it's in your uh, present position, uh, but it's still a good card, even in the reverse. It's just saying uh, not to gamble or take any chances in any area of your life. Uh, particularly particularly with your finances uh, do not gamble uh, you know take the mortgage money and, and go to uh, you know casinos or anything like that uh, you have good things and this supports the five of uh, Pentacles in reverse as well when I said that for some of you some of you who have dealt with financial uh, issues and struggles and um, didn't know how you were going to see your way and paying your bills or anything like that. I think the shift of energy is positive for you this week going into uh, next week uh, in terms of getting your finances in order. But the Ten of Pentacles is just saying do not take any chances in trying to, uh, you know, like hit the lottery or, you know, doing something that you shouldn't take a risk in doing. Um, also, um, in your future position, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, for some of you, I'm getting the message that you have to be careful um, when it comes to your work. I think that a lot of you in a work situation or environment are going to be sort of like under scrutiny or just being observed by uh, higher ups or your bosses and stuff to see how... Um, your work is coming along and if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing instead of slacking off and the, 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 the excuse me the knight of pentacles is an indication that for some of you you may be slacking off when it comes to your work so just be careful uh and mindful that you are doing what you are supposed to be doing while you're at work because i think that a lot of you are going to be uh under the microscope this week when it comes to your work performance um so this is the uh, energy that I'm feeling as far as that is concerned. It's not really a bad week in terms of, you know, um, you know, major difficulties or complications or conflicts or anything like that for you, uh, for my Gemini's. I feel that some of you are going to get your money situation in order and some of you have uh, dealt with some financial uh, situations, uh, struggles. Uh, but that's turning around for you. The energy that I feel is turning around for you going into this week uh, because you have the Ten of Pentacles, even though it's in the reverse, it's still a positive card. And it's just, you know, the message is not to gamble or, you know, with finances or any area that is of, you know, of importance to you in your life. Uh, don't take any chances and then just be mindful of your work performance. Um because I feel a lot of you are going to be coming under the microscope and being observed for the work that you do and observation in the fact that, you know, they're checking to make sure that you are doing your work and you're not slacking off because with this Knight of Pentacles um, in reverse, this is for males and females that you may be at work and you're not focused on your work. You're focused on something else that's taking your mind off of your work. And, and this is why I say it's, it's very crucial for you to pay attention this week and particularly for um, any uh, not necessarily attacks, but just, um, you know, possible reprimands or something like that. If, if you are caught not doing what you're supposed to do when it comes to uh, your work. Uh, so your work ethics need to be on par and to be focused during this time uh the spirit card that i drawn for you is the nature card and i've drawn this for another sign and it just says uh this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind body and soul need nourishment energy revitalization and strength nature has much to offer 
So take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. So it's just a straightforward message that for some of you who may uh, need to get outdoors a little bit more, this card is just saying that you need to spend time out in nature and to revitalize your your energy if you feel depleted. Um, just to, you know, do stuff to make you feel, you know, good overall uh, to, you know, strengthen you and to... Um, you know, bring back that energy to yourself. And that, it, you know, includes going to the gym or taking, you know, a walk in nature or just a walk uh, in general, you know, like in your neighborhood, nothing, you know, fancy or anything like that. So it's just to get out there and absorb the the beauty of nature and allow that nature, um, the beauty of the nature to revitalize you, whatever activity that you um, partake in uh, that would help revitalize you and re-energize you so basically as a, a summarization for my Gemini's for the week of July 27 to August 2nd it's just that good things you have are getting your finances in order and the struggling with your finances seem to be coming to an end I feel that some of you in the past have felt like you were in limbo uh whether it you know was pertaining to a relationship or what your next move was going to be in terms of your life's direction but i think that your uh, perception is shifting and it's in your past so it's moving away from you uh the ten of pentacles in your present position uh is just basically saying you know uh the money's starting to pick up and look good but don't take any uh chances you know, like gambling or, you know, trying to, you know, play the lottery to think that, you know, you'll become an instant millionaire. No. And this is in all areas of your life, love life, you know, children, anything that is important to you is now this week is not the time to gamble or take any chances. Be mindful of your work ethics uh, this week, because I feel that for some of you, you're going to come under, uh, uh, like I said, observation or a microscope. And some of you may get reprimanded uh, if you do not pay attention and you're not focused on your work. Uh, that's what I have for my uh, unique Gemini's um, for the week of July 27 to August 2nd. Um, looking forward to see what the monthly general love readings are going to uh, show for you guys. Because I know you're anticipating like all the other signs are. So... Uh, I just wanted to get this out of the way and I did cut out the uh, color uh, scheme for the week just to save time on the videos to get them uploaded faster. So like I said before, this new deck, I'm just trying it out as far as the energy is concerned and I may resume uh, going back to using uh, the deck that I use for the general uh, love monthly reading. So uh, I wished my uh, unique Gemini's and others a very safe and blessed week until next time. I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.